please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Elmer and Rose by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was with his cousin Wilbur. They were looking at the herd of elephants. Jolly fellows, smiled Wilbur, but not exactly unique. They are all unique, said Elmer, just not as different as us. Imagine a herd like you and me. At that moment, Bird arrived and said, Grandpa Eldo wants you too. Come on, Wilbur, said Elmo. Grandpa Eldo was looking under a bush. Where is she? he muttered. Then, seeing Elmo and Wilbur, he said, She must be hiding from you too. She? said Elmer. Who are you talking about? Rose, said Eldo. She wandered away from a herd of elephants that passed nearby. You two can take her back to them. Ah, there she is. Don't be frightened, Rose. Come and meet Elmer and Wilbur. From behind a tree, peeped a young elephant, a pink elephant. Oh, said Elmer and Wilbur in surprise. Very pretty, Elmer added quickly. Rose became even pinker. She blushes very easily, whispered Eldo. I imagine that's why she's called Rose. Pleased to meet you, Rose said, and she blushed again. You'll find the tracks of the herd by the lake. Just follow them, said Eldo. You'll go faster than I would. Goodbye, Rose. Rose said goodbye very sweetly, blushed a deeper pink, and ran after Elmer and Wilbur. At the lake, they met another elephant. Rose stared and hid between Elmer and Wilbur. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Wilbur, said the elephant. Hello, he continued awkwardly looking at Rose. Rose, said Elmer helpfully. After the elephant had gone, Rose said, that's a strange one. Every so often, to make the journey more fun, they raced one another. Rose loved that because somehow she always won and every time she blushed even pinker. Between races, Wilbur played tricks with his voice. He made his voice roar from behind a rock and shout from a treetop. Rose squealed with excitement, blushed almost red and held on to Elmer's trunk. Elmer just chuckled. Suddenly, Rose said excitedly, Listen, they are just over the hill. I'll go alone now. You may upset the others. They are quite shy. You're all such unusual elephants, especially the strange grey one we saw. Thank you for bringing me back. Come and visit us sometime, Elmer called after her. Strange grey one? What did she mean? asked Wilbur. I think she was joking said Elmer. From the hill, they watched Rose safely join the herd. She wasn't joking, said Elmer. 
No wonder she thought the grey elephant was strange. The elephants in Rose's herd were all pink. Going home, Elmer and Wilbur were met by Eldo. You knew about the pink elephants, didn't you, Grandpa Eldo? said Elmer. Yes, I wanted you to see them, said Eldo. Rose was nice, said Wilbur. I thought she was unique and she thought the grey elephant was unique. They are probably all nice, unique or not, said Elmer. Wilbur grinned. Remember what you said, Elmer? Imagine a herd like one of us. Especially like you, Elmer, laughed Eldo. Elmer smiled and said nothing. He was imagining a herd of elephants like himself.